Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day, hallelujah, that the Lord has me. And I mean every last one of us. I mean all my brothers, all my sisters, every young man, every young lady, we should always be glad and always rejoice in it. And the reason why that is because we serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, hallelujah, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the healing business. God is good all the time. Yes, he is. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, my brothers and sisters, that every day is a day that we always need to praise and worship his holy name. We always need to exalt him. We always need to continue to seek him. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing right now today, the Lord still expects to hear from you right now today. He wants to hear what's going on with your problem right now. He wants to hear what's going on with your situation right now. He wants to know everything what's going on with his child right now today. And you know exactly who you are. Because a lot of you right now today, instead of you spending time with the Lord and talking to him about the problem, you're ready to go to social media like social media care about your problems. You're ready to go to homeboys and homegirls like they care about your problem. You're ready to go to outsiders like they care about your problem. You're ready to go to your family members like they care about your problem. Or even in-laws, when the one person, hallelujah, who cares about you, when the one person who's in love with you, when the one person who can help you is Jesus. Doesn't that make sense? So it's better off if you go to him first, right? Because he's had, he has the answer. He has the solution. Not nobody else. The only thing they want to work, know about is what's going on with you so they can talk about it. So why not go take it to the master? You know exactly who you are. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us and he has us in the palm of his hands and he's the one that's in control. He's the one that's in charge. He's the one that's running this whole show by himself and he don't need nobody help. The only thing he wants us to do is to continue to seek him, trust him, and have faith. Can you do that, my sisters? Can you do that, my brothers? And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, Abba Father, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise today. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you're ordering our steps. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, that we can always talk to you about every anything, Father God, that you're always there, God, that you're always available, Father God. Oh, Father God, we're going to continue to pour our heart out to you, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Father God, because you always make yourself available, Father God, for those who seek after you, for those who pour their heart out to you, for those who call it your name. Because your words say in Matthew 18, 19, with two or more gathering in your name, hallelujah, there you are in the midst. So, Father God, as we are praying right now today, God, we know that you are listening to our prayers right now. We know that you're in the midst right now. We know our prayers have been heard. We know our prayers have been answered and our prayers have been delivered. But not on our time, God, but your time, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. We thank you Heavenly Father God for your grace and your mercy. We thank you Heavenly Father God for your love that you continue to give, give us and pour out to us. We thank you Father God for how patient you are, you are with us God until we get it right. We thank you Father God for this word that we better receive. This powerful message right now today Father God that's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. 
And there's no other place, Father God, that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, giving you all thanks, giving you all praise, giving you all glory. We magnify your name right now today, Jesus. We glorify your name right now today, Jesus. We exalt your holy name right now today, Jesus. Oh, Father God, you are number one in our life right now today, Father God, and always be number one in our life right now today, Father God. Let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and not return by voice today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, allow your love to move through this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Hallelujah. That I know for a fact that you're about to show up. That I know for a fact that you're about to show out. I believe and I declare the decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. That someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will and you should get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my sister's home. Right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home. Right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to lay your hands on every last one of my brothers and sisters right now today. Lift their spirits up right now today, Father God. Sing a new song into their spirits right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for healing and restoration for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move like you never moved before in my brothers and sisters' life right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for a favor. Father God, and the favor that I'm asking for, God, is for a blessing and a breakthrough for my brothers and sisters, for a miracle for my brothers and sisters, that you will send rain on my brothers and sisters' behalf right now today, that you will open up a door for my brothers and sisters right now, that you will put them at the right place at the right time for my brothers and sisters right now, that you will send them the resources and the connection, Father God, what they need right now, Father God, that you will send them the help, Father God, what they need right now today, Father God, and Father God, we leaving it in your hands right now because I know that it's done right now, and I came in and I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here in your platform. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are confident. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear your soft, still voice right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. As we repent about sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiveness for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for never remember our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters, and one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pull my heart out to you every day, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more and I want more and I want more and I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I live for you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I brag, that's why I boast about you boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you read it for God's word, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Today's word is, how I'm supposed to trust you now? How do I 
supposed to trust you now when you never believed in me? How do I supposed to trust you now when I didn't have nothing? You didn't, even, you, didn't have, you didn't even want to be bothered with me. When I wasn't doing anything, you didn't want to rock with me. Because you didn't see things happening on your time, you didn't consider me as a friend like I consider you. My parents always told me, you'll know who your real friends are and your family members are when you die it out. See, when you ain't got a dollar to your name, you actually ain't got no friend neither. Who believes in somebody that does not have anything? Who believes in somebody who don't have nothing? And a lot of y'all, you are so good to people. You're honest to them, you're loyal to them. Even though you ain't got two cents rubbed, to your, rubbed, rubbed together. But they don't want to rock with you because you don't have anything to offer them or to give them. But the moment, hallelujah, when things start working in your life, because they're about to start working, those same people who didn't believe in you all of a sudden want to be your friend. Those same people who didn't want to rock with you all of a sudden, they want to rock with you. The same people who were smelling your face then wants to rock with you then. As long as you got something to give them, you their friend. But lose everything. Go broke right now. You will see who your real friends are. You will see who your real family members are. Now all of a sudden, God has flipped the strip. Now all of a sudden, you see all these blessings and these breakthroughs and these miracles coming to my brothers and sisters right now. And all of a sudden, you want to applaud me. So, oh, I believe in you all along. Oh, I knew that you was going to make it. No, you didn't. Because when I was down and out, you left me. When I had anything to give you, you didn't want to rock with me. When I had anything to share with you, you didn't love me no more like you used to. So how all of a sudden, I supposed to trust you now? I can't trust you right now. Because when I ain't have a dime, I was nothing to you. When you didn't believe in me, like I believed in you, you laughed at me. You jumped the fence and started hanging with other people. You had all these naysayers all in your ear, and you believed everything that they told you about me, and it was false. Now, you see things going good for my sisters. Now you see things going for my brothers. And all of a sudden, you want to rock with me now? No. How's I supposed to trust you? I can't trust you. How's I supposed to believe in you? I can't believe you. But it's one person, my sisters. It's one person, my brothers, going to rock with you regardless if you have anything in your pocket. It's one person who's going to believe in you more than, your, than, than life itself. In his name of Jesus. You can always count and depend on Jesus being your best friend, your faithful friend, and your loyal friend. You can always count and believe and trust in Jesus the moment that you start praying for something, the moment that you start believing in something, guess who believed you too? Jesus. He is there. So don't never leave his side, my brothers. Don't never leave his side, my sisters, because he's the true friend that's always going to be there. He's the true friend. They always got your back all the way to the very end. He's the only one that go go make it seem, go make it go all the way through. And that is a true friend that you always should have faith in. That you should always have trust in. That you should always think. That you should always pray to. That you always should praise and exalt his holy name because there's no other friend, hallelujah, like Jesus. But a lot of people right now today, they believe in people with nothing. They believe with people with nothing. They rock with people with nothing. But guess where their ship is going? Nothing, nowhere. But the people who God has put in their life, they overlook them. They don't believe in them. When they have a dream, when they have a vision, they don't want to rock with them until they see it. In the moment they see it, that's when they want to jump ship and say, oh man, oh I knew that you was going to do it. Oh my sister, I know you was going to rock it. Where are we going today? All of a sudden, I'm your sister now. All of a sudden, I'm your brother now. But the whole time, you still remain my sister. The whole time, you remain my brothers. But how am I supposed to believe you now? How am I supposed to trust you now when you didn't believe in me? 
Nobody believed nobody was nothing. So how can I rock with you when you don't believe in nothing? How can I consider you my part of my friend when you don't believe in nothing? Nobody hang with nobody when you ain't got a dollar. When you ain't got a dollar, you know who your real friends are. And it took me a while for me to pick that up and understand that. But when I realized what my parents would tell me, they said, you don't know who your real friends are when you don't have a dollar to your name. You will see who's going to rock with you. You will see who's going to stick beside your side because a real friend, a faithful friend, a faithful friend, a loyal friend, they can even go for a boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband, and wife for you. I say, when you don't have anything, if they really love you for who you are and they believe in you, guess what? They're going to rock with you all the way to the end. They're going to stick it out with you all the way to the end. I don't care how many bumblebees or blackjacks is buzzing in their ear. They're going to swat them every time. So you know what? I don't want to hear that nonsense. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. I'm going to rock with him. I'm going to rock with her because I believe in him. I believe in her. And I consider this person, hallelujah, help this thing, Holy Spirit, a true friend and a faithful friend because I know one thing for sure. I know the faith, hallelujah, that they have and what they believe in. I'm going to rock them because I know they're going to win. You got a lot of bandwagons out there. And trust and believe you're going to see those bandwagons that's about to show up and emerge in your life this year, this season. Watch how they show up. Watch how they emerge in your life. Watch how they start coughing, please. Watch how they start wanting to brag about you all of a sudden. But the whole time when you have a dollar to your name, they weren't bragging about you, right? The whole time, it's when your vision, your dream didn't come, but now you're dreaming your vision to come to pass, and they're going to see how God's going to work it out. Watch how many people want to bandwagon. Watch how many people want to be on your side. Watch how many people want to be on your team. But where were you when you didn't see it? You think I'm going to hang with you now? You think I'm going to rock with you now? Do you think I'm going to believe in you now? Do you think I'm going to trust you now? Because the moment I lose everything again, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be that same person who you was before it came. You think I'm going to believe you? You think I'm going to trust you? No. If you didn't believe in me before, what makes you think that you believe in me now? If you didn't rock with me before, do you actually think I'm going to rock with you now? No. You want to hang with the people who didn't believe in nothing. You want to hang with the people who didn't have nothing. Nobody believes in nobody with nothing. But when you believe in something, it's going to be a true friend that's going to rock with you. It's going to be somebody that's going to help you pursue your dreams. And you know why they're going to help you pursue your dreams? It's because they know who God is. You know why they're going to help you pursue your dreams? Because they are a true and faithful friend. And when you have someone like that, you better hold on to them, my brothers. You better hold on to them, my sister, because they are very rare to come about. God sent certain people in your life for a reason, for you to help them. And if you acknowledge not to help them, don't start wanting to jump on their bandwagon when everything come up, when everything come together. Because it's gonna to come together and it's gonna work out. Trust and believe. It's gonna work out. Regardless if you wanna believe it, regardless if you wanna see it. There's a lot of people right now today that's upset. You know why they upset? Because they had the perfect opportunity right there in their face. Just because they believe in him, they didn't believe in her. They overlooked. But God has sent them right there in front of their face. Someone that's going to help them. Someone that could have helped them be an entrepreneur. But no, they want to hang with people who didn't have nothing. They want to hang with people who believe in the thing. Guess what? Them the people who you need to rock with. That's who you consider your friend. But there was a real friend right here. That was faithful to you. That was loyal to you. But it gave the shirt of their back to you. But you turned them down. They're going to hang with somebody who didn't have nothing. Let that make sense. Let that make sense. Nobody believes somebody with nothing. But in these days, too many people are going, going with people who don't have anything going for themselves. They believe in people who don't have nothing. And you say that you love them, you love them. How does they make sense? But here there's a person, that's right here that God said that your life, this person is believing in something, this person is trusting in something, but you don't want to rock with him. You don't want to rock with her. But you're ready to rock with somebody who don't believe in anything. And you're that person's best friend. 
You that person, low your friend, you'll break your neck for that person. But the person that's right here, you won't break their neck for. But all of a sudden, you see this miracle come. Because the miracles are already going to happen this year, this season. You see the blessing come. You see the breakthrough come. You see the favor that's on that brother and sister's life. And all of a sudden, you want to jump ship. All of a sudden, you want to be on a team. How am I supposed to trust you now? How am I supposed to believe you? But I want, I know, tell you something, my brothers. Can I tell you something, my sisters? One person believes in you. One person trusts you. And one person is always going to rock with you. And his name is Jesus. And I want to inform you right now today, when it all come together, don't you ever, ever forget who Jesus is. Don't you forget who was there with you when nobody was there with you. Don't you dare forget who was rocking with you nobody's going to rock with you. Don't you dare forget who believed in you when nobody's believed in you. You continue to rock with Jesus. You continue to praise him. You continue to shout him. You continue to draw closer to him because he's going to make sure that you're going to He's going to make sure that you're going to continue to receive more and more and more. Don't you dare ever forget who was there when you was down and out. Because Jesus will always be your real, faithful, and real friend, my brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. So let's turn our Bible to Proverbs 18, and we're going to read verse 24. That's Proverbs 18, and we're going to read verse 24. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend. Hallelujah. Listen to this. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother, and his name is Jesus. But there is a friend. He ain't say friends. Friends mean it's plural, mean it's more than one. But there is a friend who sticks closer. Who stick closer? Who stick closer to you than anything? We don't have any anything. It's Jesus. So the point I make: Don't never forget the one who was there rocking with you. Don't you dare forget the one who believed in you. Don't you dare forget the one when you didn't have a dollar to your name, but they still consider you their brother. They still consider you their sister. Don't you dare forget and flip the strip on the person who was there with you when you was down and out, when you didn't have anything going for yourself. Because a lot of people get complacent. A lot of people forget the people who was there with them when they was down and out, when they was in the mud, but all of a sudden these new people come, you want to flip on the people that was there with you and start merging to the people who was never there rocking with you. They go for friendship, they go for relationship, whatever it may be. Don't you dare ever forget the people who was there with you in the beginning. Because you lose it all, guess what's going to happen? The same people who was never rocking with you, they're going to get missing on you. They're going to talk about you. They were never faithful to you. They were never loyal to you. And they're going to they give their tail to kiss. But the one that was there, remember who they are. Don't you never forget about them. But the main thing, don't you ever forget about Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know who this word is for today. I don't know who God is talking to today. But get ready. God is about to show up and he's about to show up in your life. And don't ever forget about Jesus. Amen. Amen. This word moved to your spirit today and if it touched your soul today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life. To guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. By us praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him, always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and then please not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you're normal. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving in this LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name, I love every last one of y'all. Amen.